Mizuma TV back with some more boxing, man. Shout out to the LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Yeah, man, just chilling outside. You know what I mean? Just wanted to talk more boxing today. I got a lot of shit on my mind, so you might as well let it out. You know what I mean? So what I want to talk about today is uh, Earl Spence versus Sean Porter. Now, this is a great fight, man. 147, if y'all didn't know, is my favorite division. My favorite fighter of all time, Tito Trinidad. Uh, came from this division and I've been loving it ever since the Mayweather the Mayweather era the Pacquiao era De La Hoya I paid attention to all these eras and they all just so happen to be at 147 so I was glad to be able to witness all of this and it's been my favorite division ever since and uh, heavyweight as well so um, paying attention to this fight right here man I just love the idea that it's a unification fight. Not only that it's a good fight, but it's a unification fight. So it's one uh, step closer to welterweight supremacy. You know what I mean? So I fuck with it heavy. Um, what I want to talk about today is the chances that Sean Porter actually has going into this fight with Earl Spence. Now, looking at this fight, man, um, I really feel like, in, in all honesty, and this is no hate towards Sean Porter at all, and I feel like a lot of people feel like this as well, I feel like Earl Spence is better than him in every single category. And if he isn't better than him, then he matches him. You know what I mean? So when you come in, when you're talking about athleticism, I feel like that favors Earl Spence. I don't give a fuck if Sean Porter played football. That, that shit don't mean nothing. You know what I mean? I feel like Earl Spence is a more athletic fighter. He's taller. He has a longer reach. I feel like he has a better boxing ability, ring IQ, a better jab. Outside game, inside game, uh, speed, power, like I, I just b like body shots, offense, defense. I really feel like all around the board, Earl Spence is better than Sean Porter. Now, with this, with this being said, I like to play devil's advocate in my mind just in case, cause I'm not right all the time. You know what I mean? Sometimes I'm proven wrong. I was just proven wrong a couple weeks ago with that fucking Pacquiao Thurman shit. You know what I mean? I really thought Thurman was going to do enough to get the victory, but um, a lot of things were shown in that fight that um, I didn't really think about. So looking at this right here, man, playing devil's advocate, I feel like the only way Sean Porter could beat Earl Spence is if he is dirty, man. Like if he really, really is like doing as much dirty shit as possible on his Bernard Hopkins shit. Headbutts, elbows, fucking low blows, um, all types of shit. There's so many things that Sean Porter is going to have to do to defeat Earl Spence. And he really, in all honesty, to beat Earl Spence, man, he would have to break him. You know what I mean? So for him to do that, he would have to do a lot of things that will frustrate Earl Spence. You know what I mean? But um, just seeing Sean Porter's last performances like against Adrian Granados, and um, which didn't impress me at all. I really felt like Adrian Granados won rounds that he shouldn't have won, and that fight was closer than it should have been. You know what I mean? And then looking at the Ugas fight, I really thought that he lost to Ugas. You know what I mean? I really thought Ugas had done enough to beat uh, Sean Porter. You know what I mean? Um, the not, I thought he got knocked down and everything, but he was blessed with a uh, with a slip by the referee. You know what I mean? So. Um, there's a lot of things that I've seen from Sean Porter in his latest performances that leads me to believe that he really can't do much more than what he's already shown. He's going to have to bring out the Sean Porter that was against uh, Andre Berto. You know what I mean? The real dirty, um, relentless attack, displaying, his, just putting out a lot of shots. And I don't really think he can outwork. I really don't think he could outwork Earl Spence either. Earl Spence in his last fight threw a thousand punches against Mikey. A lot of welterweights cannot do that shit in a twelve round bout. You know what I mean? So I, I like from from what I've seen, Mayweather. I mean, he don't really as he's gotten older, he hasn't shown much offense to let his hands go much. But I've seen a lot like in the the five hundred six hundred range. So for Earl Spence to be able to do that, he comes in in crazy shape. His conditioning is amazing. And he didn't even do strength and conditioning for that fight. So it goes to show you how great his work rate is. And you better believe he's going to do strength and conditioning for this fight because he says he's going for the knockout. So, man, it's just 
playing devil's advocate is so hard in this situation because it just seems like I'm just like using my imagination and shit. And you really can't use your imagination when you're coming up with these predictions. So it's like, I really feel like Sean Porter got as little to no chance of being Earl Spence. I'll be completely shocked if this man makes this fight close. Like, if he wins four to five rounds, I'll be shocked. You know what I mean? So um, that's just my thought on this, man. What are the chances of Sean Porter beating Earl Spence? And how does he beat Earl Spence? Let me know in the comment section below. Maybe y'all know something I don't. But until then, man, I think that Earl Spence is going to fucking wash Sean Porter. You know what I mean? So that's all I got right now. Shout out to the LDBC and New Media. All that good shit. And I'm out.